So you had mentioned before how Hyperledger is different from other consortiums because of its focus on creating an open community, not just open sourcing code. Can you tell us a little bit about why this is important? So open source communities, I believe, uh, live and breathe on uh, not just you know reporting bugs or, or I, 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 you know downloading code, but but actually live and breathe on true collaboration, on saying not just you know I have a bug and somebody needs to fix it, but instead saying here's how I'd like to solve this. Right? What do people think? Um, here is a design for implementing a new feature. What do people think? And I, I think the evidence shows that that creates higher quality code. It also creates more long lasting code. I don't think you have a project like the Linux kernel, which has now been around for 26 years, right? Uh, uh, without having a mechanism for a community to develop an institutional memory, right? Why were certain decisions made? Um, what were some ideas that were proposed and ultimately found to you know, either be shot down or not, not really good enough, right? So that we don't end up changing things back and forth, right? We don't end up uh, making mistakes that we could have avoided before or learning from previous, how do we make sure we learn from previous mistakes, right? And that's only possible in an open source community if and on top of just releasing code, you're, you're also engaging in the creative process itself and making that public facing. And I think really we found out over 25 years of open source that that's the best way to build trustworthy software. I believe it, it leads to higher security software and higher quality software, but really the question is trust. Um, this is code that sits at, at, at Hyperledger. This is code that will sit at the heart of these enterprises. This will be their system of record, right? So it's essential that we develop this code in a trustworthy way. And while we do all sorts of things to help them trust the data in the system, ultimately they have to trust the software as well. And what I hope is that through these processes, uh, they can rest assured that when they pick up Hyperledger anything, right, that that anything will be software that they can trust.